Okay, guys, this is part three to, oh, jeez, part three to this trapping video. Um, so, first off, right here, we've got, got Q-tips and stuff in there, but that won't hurt. Anyway, put these for two bucks a box. Got them for two box, three Martin boxes. And I also got Martin and Fisher probably. And I also got these uh we these four weasel boxes. Right there. One, two, three, and then four. And I got those for two bucks too, and they even came with the extended pan uh those four extended pan rat traps in them. So I thought that was pretty good to get that, and he's got a whole bunch more there, so I think I'm going to go back and invest in some of, some of them, maybe. Anyway, but I'm just, I'm doing some work on the uh, screw here. Well, actually, I'm not, but we're uh, working away at it there. The uh, crank went in it, the... What what's wrong with it is on the 540 on the 540 Polaris they the crank on it on the 540 Polaris the uh, the crank never breaks on it but um, anyway what ha what they did is the crank for the 540. They went and used the same crank for the 500. Did I say 540? I meant to say 440. Um, they used the same crank for the 440 on the 500. So, anyway, you get that bigger piston, more pressure, and, and, uh, the, the crank can't take very much of that, or it didn't. But then, this is the second time it broke, and then after this time we found out that on, right in here, on the uh, cylinders, where the piston goes up and down, someone went in and honed it out with a set of hones on both pistons, and now they use uh, a, uh, a little bit bigger than the original then the Players 500, so they use a Players 500 that's a little bit bigger. And uh, so then you get even more pressure coming on that. And it's snapped twice now. And so what we're going to do is we're going to get it fixed this time. And I think we're going to sell it. So anyway. But uh, that's not what this video is about. This is about trapping. So he gave me this. Nice little... Trapping axe. Gave me that. And then right here, he gave me these a brand new pair of Dakota BDG, I guess. Kind of look like Dakota, but anyway, he gave me a brand new pair of those. So those are like probably 20 to 30 dollars. And then right here, he gave me a Gore-Tex coat. It's been used a little. I gotta wash it. But uh, anyway, still, that's pretty generous of him. Gave me, gave me the Gore-Tex coat like that. So anyway, but uh, I got some more stuff up in my room, magazines and some other stuff up there. I'm gonna show you so. Uh, stick tight for part four of this video, so talk to you guys later.